Exactly, you're the player of the round in the cup. Uh, just that game against Afterlink, how, how do you look, look back on it? Um, I think it was a really fun game to play in, you know. We were, we were coming off another win, and we knew that we needed to advance to the next round, and we had to do any and everything that we could. And just playing as a team and finally getting that first goal, and then going into the, to the second half, we knew that we needed to get the second goal because it was going to dictate the tempo for the rest of the game. It was, it was just a fun time to um, play through the, de- uh, through the defense and just work together and put the ball in the back of the net four times. Score, yeah, score four goals. Must have been a great feeling to score those goals. Yeah, it definitely was. Um, I've been looking for my first goal uh, in this league for a while now, and it, just the first and the second. It was it was really fun to score, um, just after all our efforts and after all our time, because it's we're we're working towards getting more goals and becoming um, a team to finish our chances more. So just kind of getting that confidence to be able to put the ball in the back of the net on more opportunities. It was it was really nice to do that. Uh, it's been quite a difficult season for Throttle in the league, but you've been on a been on a cup run. Uh, has, has the cup run like helped you guys? Um, yeah, I think the cup definitely has helped us because when it comes to the cup, we just put on an absolute performance, and I think that shows that what we're really capable of. And then when it comes to the league, like I think we still do really really well. We just need to fix um, certain parts here and there, and. You know, our stats don't lie. We are some of the best, like, um, offense creators in the league, and we only give up, like, one or two goals per game. So I think um, the the cup is really giving us confidence, and it's showing us that when we're at our best, we can take any opponent at any time. You're going to play Valer in the, in the semifinal. you got a good friend in that team, Katie Cousins. How are you feeling about that? And when we step in between those lines, the friendship is no more. Um, no, it's it's always fun to get to play against a, a friend. And uh, yeah, it, I mean, we just have one goal, and that's to advance to the finals. They're obviously going to be a really good competitor, and they're going to come out with everything they got because it's it's win or go home. So we we have to put that goal above everything else, and we got to get the job done. Mm-hmm. Are you like confident that you guys gonna like find your feet in the, in the league in the next coming weeks? I think we've been playing really well together. We've, we've been creating opportunities. We just need to put the like get that first goal in the game and then go into the second half like really strong and just keep building on that. And th- I think that'll be super important for us because we do create the opportunities and we are really good on the ball and we break the defenses down. And so just finishing our chances, I think that'll be huge for us and everything will fall into place after that. Uh, the first few months in Iceland, how have they they been just like on and off the pitch? Um, they've actually been like pretty amazing. I've made so many new friends. Um, I have like my favorite bakery now, Passion Bakery. I have church friends, and even too just seeing like the 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 nature life and having my favorite restaurant, Lamb Street Food. It's it's been amazing, and it's been so much fun to be able to wake up away from home and still look at this place with a lot of like family members and friends that I can always go to. So I feel really well supported here and it is such a friendly place to live in. Mm-hmm. Iceland like summer is a bit different because at this time the s- sun doesn't go down. Has it been <laughs> difficult to adjust to that? You know, looking outside at 10, t- 10 p.m. and seeing that there's still like blue lights in the sky, it is interesting, but I don't mind it because I'm looking forward to seeing the midnight summer sun. So I just clears, close my curtains and I, you know, say a quick prayer before bed that I can sleep through the night and that's how I get through it. <laughs> just the experience of, of like after college football, has it been like you like anticipated? Um, it's definitely been at a higher level and more physical. I think I'm definitely the most valid player in the <laughs> league, um, but it's a great learning experience and it'll only teach me things that'll make me better for um, future seasons going on. Just, just finally, like the Icelandic cult- culture, how has it been to like, to just adjust to that and com- coming from from Canada? Um, in some ways, Canada and Iceland are very similar. In other ways, such as the language, <laughs> um, they're different. But I, I love society over here. It's so calm. It's so peaceful. Everyone's really nice. They think I'm American half the time. So you know. Um, but no, it's it's super, super nice to be in a society away from home for my first season, at, at least, where everyone's super friendly and willing to help me out when they see me struggling. So I, you know, I, I really do love living here. Thank you, Leanne, and good luck. Thank you.